All right, you guys, today I'll check out some unusual glitch effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this image as a reference. This is my artboard size. Let's go to the layer, right click on it, and select Convert Smart Object. Now let's go to Filter and go to Distort and select Wave. Now, unfortunately, you cannot preview this in big, only here in this little thumbnail. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go here and select the square. And let's go to number of the generators. I'm gonna decrease it to two. I'm also gonna go to the bottom scale and decrease it to zero. And I'm gonna go to the wavelength. I'm gonna go all the way up. Let's go to minimum. I'm also gonna increase that. And if you wanna exaggerate with the glitch, you can go here to the amplitude and increase it. And check this out. Now it's gonna stretch it all the way out and you can customize the wavelength more. Let's go to the maximum. If you decrease it, it's gonna make it more dense and you can work on the minimum as well. If you decrease it, the cuts are going to be equal. If you increase it, it is gonna make it unequal. So this is one version. You also can make it vertically. So you can go to the scale, decrease the horizontal all the way down and let's increase the vertical all the way up and then you can recustomize it however you like. But I'm gonna go back and then you also can generate this automatically by going here to the randomize, click on it and check this out. This is going to randomize it automatically and create some unique results. All right, so let's say I like this one. I'm going to click OK. So it's going to look something like this. I also can customize this further if you want. Let's go to the layer and select the smart filters. Click on it and let's go and select the rectangle marquee tool. Make sure that you're on the black color. And for example, I'm going to go and select one of the parts of the face, for example, here and I'm gonna press Alt plus Backspace. Press Control D. You also can fill it with the color. For example, I'm gonna select this area. If you don't want to use the shortcut, you can go and select the Paint Bucket tool. Make sure you're in the black and click here. And pretty much this is it. If you wanna bring back some of the areas, you can go and swap it from black to white and you can select one of the areas, press Alt Backspace and it's gonna bring back some of the parts. You also can add some noise. Let's go and select the solid, make it black, click OK. Let's go to Filter noise, add noise, convert a smart object. I'm gonna make it 60, click OK, and change up the blend mode. I'm gonna go with exclusion. And that's how you can generate glitch here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.